Welcome everyone to another One Question, Two Analysts, Three Minutes. I'm Tom Loy with 24-7 Sports alongside Irish Illustrated Insider Kevin Sinclair. Kevin, let's take a look at Notre Dame in the class of 2021. Who are three recruits you believe will end up with the Fighting Irish? Definitely a sort of a tricky question given uh, the whole coronavirus situation. Certain players uh, having not visited Notre Dame yet or missing their visits in March. Um, but, you know, if we're really picking three guys, right at the top of that list has to be Rocco Spindler, um, who, you know, in the last month here have really felt like uh, Notre Dame is, is going to win his pledge. Of course, he's, uh, you know, going to go through visits and those sorts of things. And another is, um, you know, a more recent offer. I, I think Tristan Bounds might be a guy that Notre Dame um, can pick up. High academic kid from one of the actual very best private schools in the country. Um, and I think it's a school that matches up really well with Notre Dame. And, um, you know, sort of getting away from the offensive line, getting away from the offense and, and looking at the defense, it's really hard to sort of select who that next defensive back will be. Um, but, you know, if there's a guy, and, and I'm not saying Notre Dame will definitely get him, um, I would think maybe Ryan Barnes might be Notre Dame's most likely pick up uh, in the defensive backfield, but they're going to have to fend off Michigan for that one. Um, and, you know, Tom, for yourself, who, who are three that you think – uh, the Irish uh, have a great chance of picking up. Yeah, first of all, you, you made three great calls. I mean, Spindler, Bounds, Barnes, no question, all could end up with, with Notre Dame. Um, I'll throw three others out there. Um, one I'm really starting to like Notre Dame's chances for is Atlanta, Georgia, Pace Academy, four-star receiver Jaden Thomas. Had a conversation with him recently, and he, he just raved about everything related to, to the Fighting Irish, and especially with the fact that Tommy Reese and Dell Alexander are pushing a lot harder now. Um, that's clearly piqued his interest. Um, there's obviously the Pace Academy connection there with Nick Asap. And um, there's a comfort level that's really strong between him and Notre Dame. So uh, I think that as soon as he gets back on campus, whenever that could be, um, I think we put him on commit, commit watch. Michigan and a few others are definitely in play. We'll see if Georgia decides to turn the heat up. But I like Thomas to Notre Dame right now. Not yet, you know, put it, putting a pick in. Um, but I think that they definitely have a great shot. Los Angeles, California, loyal, a four-star cornerback, Sierra Wright, is a guy. I know you mentioned Ryan Barnes, but I think Sierra Wright could absolutely end up at Notre Dame. He's a tremendous fit. He visited back in December, loved it. Um, I think that Notre Dame's chances are only going to improve with Mike Mickens running the show at cornerbacks. Um, also with uh, Terry Joseph, Brian Colian, those guys pushing hard. Um, this, if you talk to Sierra Wright, you talk to a guy like Clark Lee, you know they're going to mesh. So I like their chances there. And another guy – I think Notre Dame could eventually land as somebody who recently became a four-star prospect, and that's U of Beach, Hawaii, James Campbell High School, four-star safety, Titus Mokiao Atimalala. Got to love that name. Um, I think Notre Dame has a shot to pull another one from Hawaii. So I think that re realistically, all six guys can end up at Notre Dame when really looking at it. But um, great call on yours, and, and I, I really like the ones I picked as well. So that wraps it up for another one question, two analysts, three minutes. I'm Tom Loy for Kevin Sinclair. Stay locked to irishillustrated.com.